better idea. Um, welcome back, everybody. This is the Beehive here. Um, and it's a windy day here. And now I declare Barry's Planning Company officially unveiled. <laughs> Peel back the entrance. And peel back the entrance, everyone. So, for those watching at home, and the tape is coming off there. And look at that. Even the bees are happy. These are native Australian stingless bees, also called Tetragonula carbonaria. Oh, oh, okay. Sounds Italian. It does, doesn't it? Sounds like an Italian pasta dish. Um, mm. And they're stingless. And they're very good um, for pollinating different plants, including the macadamia plant. Oh, nice. We've got here. So macadamia farmers use this bee as the chosen preferred bee for pollination. And there they are. A sample of the bees on your screen there. And... If you may recall, Dan was on the radio on the ABC. Uh, Dan. You uh, talking about on the ABC, Dan? Yeah. Good. So I run Sydney Native Bees, which oh, is yeah. a community group. Oh, good. Um, and we all do this for non profit, and that's one of the reasons why Barry is now going to become a native beekeeper. ABC. Um, and I'm going to help him through this and yeah well, done, over man. the years to come we'll we'll learn with each other and um, we'll learn about these bees but at the moment this there's a full beehive in there uh, with a, one queen and about 5,000 um, worker bees and this hive will grow in one year's time to be about 10,000 bees and be a full How hive. How many can the box take? Yeah 10 to 12 um, so it's a box yeah. within a box at the moment this is uh, an insulation cover yeah. um, and the hive is inside um, and yeah, one day soon we'll, we'll open up the hive and you'll get to see inside it and get to taste the honey too. Yeah, Barry loves honey. Yeah, this honey is, is very different, so I'm going to bring some sample honey up and you can you can trial it so we don't have to wait a whole year to taste it. And, and for those of you like, that like honey, it is good for the throat. It is. Now. It's very good for you. Then yeah. tell us about your experience on the ABC radio. The ABC radio. Um, I met Simon Marnie. He invited me to his house because he has uh, a hive of these bees. And he's had them for over a couple of years now. And he needed to do a honey extraction. So he needed to learn about uh, extracting honey from this particular hive. So um, I was invited to go to his house and I spent half a day there um, d documenting the extraction process. And educating him and um, in return he said mate I'd like for you to come on the radio and we can talk about um, we can talk about bees in general so we had uh, Simon Purdy there from the urban beehive who was he's the European honeybee expert and then I was the native bee expert so uh, we had people calling up and asking questions and we talked about the differences between those two types of bees they're very different um, when it comes to the honey it tastes different when it comes to the medicinal values um, it's, it's very different when it comes to the, the operation of the hive and the structure and the architecture inside the hive. Uh, it's, it's very different to, to European honeybees. So we've got a lot to learn about our own indigenous species um, of, of bees. And that's, that's the reason why I do this, so I can educate people, young and old, uh, and the community, and, and we can and, propagate these hives. And, and what sort of job is suitable for this honey for those of you for those that are wanting to buy the honey. It's very hard to buy this honey. It's valued, um, I think it's roughly a hundred dollars per 200 grams. It's really expensive because it takes so long to produce and the medicinal values, antimicrobial activity inside this honey um, outweighs Manuka honey, mainly being that they've stored their honey inside um, tree resins, so they build their structure inside their hive made of tree resins. Well, Dan, thanks 
very much for coming today and uh, um, installing this for your home and, and I really am glad that you gave up your Saturday to help me get started and is there anything that you'd like to say to the viewers? Yeah, uh, just this is the beginning, so this is episode one. <laughs> We've got many more lessons to come. This is just the start of um, your experience as a local beekeeper here in, in Narawena. So, uh, so good on you. So what shall I, I call this program? Um, I think probably maybe the Oceana Native Bee Program. Yep. Yeah. So that's all viewers for now, but but uh, there'll be another program on bees very, very shortly. But Dan, thanks once again, and 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 this is Barry Fair with and Dan and Matt outside my room. Bidding you a very good afternoon, and the lunch break is coming up next. You've been watching the uh, you've been watching the start of Barry's hunting company. So stay around because there's plenty more to come. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. All right, well done. Good on you, mate. So now all you got to do is observe them. You finished? I'll just bring the call this way a bit. I'm just um, stopping the video oh. now. <laughs> and Jeff, and do you have anything to say to them? Uh, not yet. We might do something later. You'll be getting some bees in your bedroom, too. Yeah.